what I wanted to show you now is how I mix my shea butter and um, I would seen several um, videos where people had said to place in the microwave or no don't place in the microwave use a double boiler so I kind of uh, created my own way of doing it so here is my all-natural shea butter and I'm actually and it looks like that so I'm going to put it in this little glass bowl that is actually on top of <laughs> that's actually my uh, green teacup it's a ceramic teacup but that that I'm actually using as a double boiler so what I'm going to do is put the shea butter in there and I'm actually I say actually one more time I'm mixing this up for my husband because um, he too has beautiful curls coils corkscrews actually then I'm going to take something called Sunrise and it's a mixture of essential um, uh, um, oils lemon orange juniper clove lemongrass and patchouli or patchouli so I'm just going to shake some of that over on the top I actually put some on the bottom of the dish now what I'm going to do is take hot water and place it in my teacup and then put the bowl right on top of it. I have found this to work very well because you really don't have to let the entire bowl of shea butter melt to liquid. It actually softens up to a very thin paste and then you know that that and the essential oil is, is blended. I mean that's the whole reason why you're kind of melting it anyway is because you want the oil that you've placed in it to be evenly distributed without um, throughout the shea butter. And actually this looks really good to me However, I do have a um, tendency to put this in the bowl and then walk away. And if that occurs, no harm, no foul. It just melts down. You mix it in a little more. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds actually, if not one minute, the shea butter has melted to that consistency. And if you want it to melt all the way down, you can. Makes no difference to me. This consistency is really good for me. So, I have a clear plastic container that I take the mixture and add it into the clear plastic container. And that's a lot! There's some air bubbles in there somewhere. And they're coming out. As you can see, that filled up this entire container. Looks like it's um gonna come out. I really don't think that it is. I think well, maybe it might. If that's the case, you just scrape off the top. Add another container. And this is really cool because my husband was using mine all up. So there you go. Got messy. Let it cool. And 
and really not that messy in the kitchen, you guys. Let it cool and it will harden back. And it's actually not so hot that I couldn't put the lid on it, but it cools better without the lid. And I put the lid on, boom, there you have your scented shea butter.